This hour, we'll be covering some very big stories of the day, including the unprecedented cyber attack, believe in fact to be the biggest online extortion attack ever recorded. Now back to the major cyber attack, the ransomware crippling 200,000 computers in 150 countries. Our next guest is a pioneer in cybersecurity, Vector Network CEO Hitesh Seth. Uh, thanks for joining us. This, this attack, uh, being told there's never been anything on the scale of this before, it has a lot of people concerned that this could actually uh, just be a precursor to attacks that are more crippling, not just to, uh, to companies, but to, the pri but to individuals as well, sir. Good morning, Charles, and uh, thanks for having me. And I think you're absolutely correct. This is unprecedented in its uh, scale um, and the number of countries it's hit. Um, but I got to tell you, you know, as, as devastating as this seems, um, you know, we, this is really, in, in terms of damage, um, this is fairly minor so far. Uh, I think, I think there's, there's a lot more that can be uh, tremendously uh, more impactful than this, and that's what we really should be worried about. Well, tell us about it, because we've, we've talked about this for maybe half a dozen years now, that the next great big battlefield and the next yeah. world war won't be fought with planes and tanks, but instead through a cyber network that cripples electric grids and, and makes nuclear power plants uh, overheat and things like that. Correct. So, I mean, let's put this into perspective, right? This, this attack has uh, infected Windows devices, uh, customers who have been, or enterprises who have been running uh, Windows XP, uh, which is a really old operating system uh, that Microsoft put out, you know, a very long time ago. But the thing we should really be thinking about are the billions of devices that are connected to the internet, and the billions more that are coming over the next, you know, several years. I can tell you that those devices will make Windows XP look like the paragon of security, and and these devices are fundamentally uh, insecure. Uh, and, you know, when those get impacted by the next wave of attacks, right, you've got critical infrastructure, you've got, you've got financial systems, um, you've got healthcare systems that are going to get impacted potentially. And, and the problem we have here is that the way we are thinking about defending ourselves is really antiquated. I can, I can see right now consultants out there who charge 500 bucks an hour rushing to all these companies and saying, hey, let me come and save you. And, and the likely recipe they will have is, is very old school. When what we should really be thinking about are new technologies. How do we leverage things like artificial intelligence uh, to our benefit? And it, because this is not a, a battle that you're going to win with people. You have to fight this with technology. Uh, I, I get that. But I also understand, and it's been said over and over again, that there, there's no way to get in front of the bad guys. In other words, they're always out there thinking, is, is there, are there preventive measures that can be taken? Uh, because to yeah. your point, Internet of Things seems to be coming a lot faster than a security of things. Yeah, absolutely. Look, I mean, there are common sense things that one can do. So if you look at this ransomware attack specifically, right, you know, the, the bare minimums that customers, enterprises should have done is ensure your systems are patched, ensure that you've backed up your data. Um, ensure that you're investing in the latest software to at least, at, at least have the protection that you've got current coverage. Now, beyond that, you have to fight this asymmetrically, right? As you point out, you know, you are, you, they, there will always be breaches. Then the question becomes, what are you going to do to get ahead of the breach? This is not just about prevention anymore. The, really, the key here is, what are you going to do after you've been breached? And this is where technologies that leverage right. artificial intelligence really come to play. Right. Hitesh, thank you very much. Really appreciate your expertise on this this morning. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Charles.